hello and welcome to the second video of this series. This is, of course, the second video of the tutorials, so today we're going to go over these angles, each one of these, and why they are important. Uh, that's not really an angle, that's just a tip that'll help you, because I like to sneak tips into my videos, if you haven't noticed by the first video. Uh, this angle is probably the most simple. Um, you can do these, these are the exact same angle, but they're just different sizes. So you can do these like that, like that. I'll show you real quick with each of them. So this one I just built two up, um, like this, and then built it right here. And then control, control R, and if you use the highest precision mode, you can put it into uh, there. And that's that one. If I just delete this, that's that angle. It's clean. Uh, next one is these. These ones are actually simpler. You can do these faster. This is these are the exact same ones. This one is the harder version of this, if that makes sense. Uh, this one, basically, you build out behind it, and you put one on the behind one. Control, control, R, T, 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 and it'll put it inside of that one. If it's not tilted inside of that one, then you need to, like if it's right here, make sure it's inside so you can see that right there. So put it in there, and then do that. And this is one of the fastest ways to make circles. Although at the end, it won't look pretty, because nothing will be aligned. Maybe it will, but, you know, it's rare. Uh, so once you've done all of those, delete the outside, and the inside looks nice. Now I, I should note, with this one, only use this one if you're using the first angle, so that means, I know this will get kind of cramped in here, I probably should have made the platform bigger. Don't do two. You'll know it's two with that little gap right there, if you look where that is, see that darker gap? Don't do that, because what happens is there's a space. Now if you do want to do this, there is a method, and I'll show you that method, see you don't want that, you don't want that. So the method for this one, if I remember, I haven't done this in a long time, if you go two out, and then do it, and then you do two, yeah, there you go. That one's flush, although it's a two angle, so it actually, yeah, it's off a little bit, but that's how you make it more flush if you want two angle. I recommend those for this. This is just too much work for two angles. This is good for one angle, so. So, that's that. This one, I like to call it the alligator. Even though I don't call it the alligator, I just said that. Um, do this. So, you want to extend this piece up in the air. But you can do that with basically the uh, tilt. You just gotta mess around until you get it right. You'll learn them, it might take you a few months, sorry to say, but you'll learn them after a while. And then, so the bottom two, and there you go, there's a really good angle right there. And you can extend that up as well. So this is the three main armor ones that works for all armors, except ice armor, which you shouldn't use unless you're making your boat go on sand. Uh, moving on to wood. Now one of my friends said that wood is not useful and no one needs to learn how to do wood. Well if you saw my last video, sorry to flex on you guys with my ironclad, you know, you can make wood into really cool stuff, like holes and stuff. That hole wasn't that good, but we don't talk about that. Um, Wood is important for a lot of reasons. You can use it to make your boat more buoyant, and you can compress it like we'll do right there. That's the tip, sneak peek. Um, so say this one, you want to move your wood. I'll, also a big thing with certain boats, I like to make my frames wood first. This is how I started out building, actually. I used wood frames and then built armor off the end. I don't recommend that because there's a bunch of gaps and it looks really bad, but 
We're going to talk about that. Um, building off. Oh, wait, no, this isn't the right method. Sorry. You can do that. You can totally do that. You can totally do that, but I don't like that method with wood. See, with wood, you can do this. I think you can do it with armor. I don't know exactly. I haven't tried it with armor. I've never done it with armor, so I wouldn't get used to it. But I don't think it works with armor. With wood, it's just easier to do this because it's so big and annoying. Um, if you do this, make sure it doesn't look like that. Because if it has a little overhang and it's glitching into the corner right there, that won't look good. So use Y to get it so it's perfect. And then R, 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 or however many R's you have to press to get it to do that. And then that will be good. Might be a little bit of a gap or an overhang, but that doesn't matter. It's not visible. <sighs> okay, uh, this one is the exact same, if not easier. So I think this is actually a two angle. Oh wait, what am I doing? There we go. You have to use the other control to get it down here. I'm gonna see actually, that works with that angle, but oh no, I don't want that angle. It does work with the two angle. So if you do if you do want to have a two angle on this, you can totally do that. And the same method goes up, down, side, side. Um, but building Another thing I forgot to actually put in here, now that I'm realizing. You can do it the old way. I know I talked about this. Um, I don't know. Oh, there you go. Yep, that does work. So it's kind of like armor in that way. And there you go. That's actually a better angle than that. But that's quicker, in my opinion, and that's easier. Alright, moving on to compressing. So compressing is one of the biggest aspects in the game. Um, it's been around since the dawn of time, if you believe that. Even when dinosaurs were walking around, whatever floats your boat. Um, sorry. If you use any sort of boat that doesn't use wolf crates or whatever they're called, or balloons, you can use wood. You should use wood, unless you have a ultralight build with a um, what's it called? Magic density block. These. Um, where are they? No, they're in structure. Sorry. Right here. Those float. I don't rec I don't recommend those though, unless you're using them for surfers or something. Anyways, for compressing, have a small surface. Do not, please, do not use this, because what'll happen is you'll put it on the way edge, and it'll stick out over there, and you don't want that. Make the surfaces you compress as small as possible, so it's easier to place it down. And then ha make sure they're in the middle too, because if they're way off to the side right here, even if they're like right, even if they're right here, you might not notice that until you start placing, and then when your 20 compresses in, it'll be gone. So I'm actually going to show you this on a red steel boat real quick. So if I can put down inward illegal ivy. So let's just do a little test. So here is one cabinet with, oh it's laggy, this happened last video too. Red steel is the heaviest armor, don't recommend it. I really don't recommend red steel at all honestly, but I used it so it worked for me. See there's two, two red steel, let's see if that floats, I actually don't know if it will. So two red steel, it can hold two red steel. Well, let us try three. Looks like it can somehow hold three, four, barely, five, okay, <laughs> six, there it goes. So it can hold six. So with that knowledge, let's compress this. We'll just do it out the water here because I don't really... I have a need to get anywhere. I kind of want to do this before the timer runs out. So let's compress it with more wood cabinets. So you have to put your camera inside, and then the cabinets are kind of hard, but. There it is. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And right now there's 10, because I counted to 9, but there was already one there. So we're just going to try iron weights this time, because I want to see this done quickly. Or let's try cabinets. 1, 2, okay. So it's actually, oh, never mind. We'll try it with red steel in the next round. Just give me a minute. But while we're waiting on that, uh, I'll talk a bit about compressing because I don't want to waste time. You can compress anything. You can compress armor even. I don't recommend compressing armor even though a lot of people talk about it, I've heard. I don't recommend it. It's not worth it. Don't do it. It's not going to help you because if someone uses cannons that splash damage, it'll just damage them exact same. Even with guns. But moving on uh, compressing it's easier with stuff that's not a cabinet I understand cabinets you can do from the side as well actually I forgot about that but even then there's little overhangs that you have to get your camera into I'm sorry using wood however like I said a million times wood don't use it with anything else you can even compress balloons I'm pretty sure you can crush the, the bases so it gives like a big up effect don't know why you would want to do that, honestly, but you can do it like that. You can do that, but put them all in one. Oh, I love balloons. If you aren't level 100, you need to get there. Balloons are the best. They're they're fun. Okay. And they're also Gucci. Um, we're not talking about that. Spice planks. Uh, we're not talking about planks. Shoot. Beams. One, two, three, four, five. You can compress as many times as you want, you know. But also, negatives of compressing, it makes your ship slower, and it also um, causes lag, too. So, I don't know why, honestly. I wish I could tell you, but both, both of its negative downsides are kind of annoying. But I do recommend it for higher, higher tier builds, especially red steel. Red steel. Red steel is annoyingly heavy. Don't use it unless you compress your wood or use balloons or wolf crates or whatever. Alright, so it looks like we have about 30 seconds left on our um, building because there's an extra 10 seconds for the rain. While we're here, we will practice our ninja parkour. Um, while we're waiting, I'll just tell you guys if there's any questions you do have, let me know in the comments. I will answer the comments if I see the question. Or, more importantly, DM me on Discord because I see that more often. <laughs> and if I did leave anything out, let me know and I'll try to either make a video on it or include it in an upcoming video. So, here's the uh, compressed. There's 10 of them, remember? 10. And props, that's 10 of cabinets. So the other one held, I believe, five. I, I, I'm pretty sure we'll just have to go off my guessing. Two, three, four, five. Well, it's not even moving. It didn't even flip over yet. Let's go six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm guessing it's going to hold at least, what, five? It'll be 50, I'm guessing. Ten, eleven... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yeah, it can hold 50. See, compressing is really smart. No one does it, unless they're a boat builder. So, yeah. I'm guessing that's the end of the video. Let's see how many... There it finally goes. <sighs> okay, um, that's the end of the video. Like I said, comments if you have questions. And uh, I'll see you guys later.